Hello guys, welcome back. My name is Andrei. In this video, I'll explain how in our Sparrow application we are executing inference task and extracting uh, data from the document, document and displaying this data uh, as JSON uh, in our uh, UI application with uh, Streamlit. So let's jump to my desktop and first of all, to give you a quick recap about Sparrow. So Sparrow is based on three main models, UI, ML, and data. So UI is the application implemented with Streamlit and you can do data annotation with this application. And also you can invoke uh, inference tasks and display back the results from the UI. So data model is responsible uh, for uh, data transformation preparation for data publishing to the uh, Hugging Face uh, Hub uh, uh, in the format of uh, Hugging Face dataset and so on. ML model is responsible <coughs> for uh, uh, for data uh, for the training uh, for the model fine tuning and uh, it implements uh, inference uh, endpoints and so on. So, so everything which is related to the uh, core logic. Okay, so let's see how this uh, inference task works. Uh, I recently updated uh, dashboard in our UI application, which is implemented with Streamlit. I implemented dashboard and fetching all uh, real data before it was dummy data. Now uh, dashboard gets real data from the uh, services that are implemented inside ML model and inside data model for, to get statistics. And uh, for now I'm hosting uh, those services that are implemented with fast API. I'm hosting on uh, Hugging, Face, Hugging Face Spaces infrastructure because it's free. And uh, obviously for the production environment, uh, you would need to get uh, uh, some dedicated instances to uh, run uh, inference quicker and run fine tuning and so on. So this is just for demo purposes. And by the way, you can get all the source code obviously for the Sparrow from the GitHub. So you could ho you can host your uh, you can host the application on your own infrastructure. Okay, so let's go to the inference right, and uh, what we have here we have the option to uh, browse through the files and uh, let's select this file upload and we hit upload right, and then we get the file uh, displayed. We can hide the menu. And now as soon as I press extract data button, then this image file, it will be sent to the service that runs, as I mentioned before, on Hanging Face Spaces, right? And uh, this service will uh, run this image through the fine-tuned model. Uh, the model which is fine-tuned is uh, it's fine-tuned on, on, on a base donut model, which is also coming from the Hanging Face infrastructure and it will pass uh, image through, through, the, through that model and will extract the data. So we can see that uh, uh, we got back the result. It was not instant, uh, simply because the service that uh, uh, this uh, inference service uh, of Sparrow is, is running on uh, three instance of Hanging Face Spaces, which is uh, some basic uh, CPU sh shape and it's not fast, obviously. So uh, in production, you would need to host it on GPU instance to have the instant, instant response. But for the demo, as mentioned, it's, it's fine. So we got header information here, like invoice number is extracted, invoice date, uh, seller client. We got uh, tax ID for the seller, tax ID for the client, IBAN. Then we got uh, one line of the items. There could be documents with multiple lines. And we also got summary. So we got net worth, uh, VAT, and uh, total gross worth, uh, 8,25. Uh, so at the moment, uh, the model which I'm using, the fine tuned model, is uh, this model is fine tuned on dummy data, but we are in the process of uh, annotating 500 invoices with a Sparrow UI annotation tool. And then once all those <coughs> invoices will be properly annotated, I'll run proper fine-tuning and uh, then I will be should be able uh, to demonstrate to you how Donut works with unseen data. So for now this is just uh, uh, like a dummy data and the model was fine-tuned just on two invoices 
uh, and the idea was to check in general if fine tuning works fine or not and and then go on with the uh, more data annotation so i'll update about this uh, in the next videos all right as an, and as i mentioned this is uh, uh, hugging face infrastructure uh, for katana ml uh, it's it's called organization uh, in terms of um, uh, hugging face hub naming and now we host uh, ui application here and uh, data service and ml service so now when I press extract data button, then the call was made um, to the fast API backend application that runs inside this Sparrow ML service. And uh, this instance was re responsible to produce a response and uh, return this uh, JSON string ex uh, data which, which was extracted from the image. Okay, so now let's uh, jump into the PyCharm and let's see quickly uh, how we are executing from a Streamlit client, how we are executing requests uh, to the backend fast API service, and how we are getting back the JSON and displaying it inside uh, the Streamlit application, Streamlit UI. So this is the function, and we got the form over here, and we got um, a form submit button, and um, <coughs> also using such thing as a uh, empty placeholder uh, because I would like to hide the button when uh, request is busy so I don't want user to press on the same button twice so button is hidden and instead this um, uh, spinner is being displayed and then as soon as uh, request is produced then we display the button again so we got empty placeholder and we put the button in, in this placeholder and then as soon as uh, actually user is uh, pressing the button if uh, we detect in Streamlit application button was pressed, then we're re uh, clearing up this placeholder and essentially this means that we're removing the button, uh, so it's not visible anymore. And then we define here the endpoint to our service, uh, inference service uh, from Sparrow ML. And then we got image uh, path, uh, uh, because we uploaded the image to the uh, UI application, so we got the path, uh, because this file is obviously stored on a service site where uh, Streamlit UI runs. So we open the file, we define the model which you'd like to use for the uh, inference, uh, don't model in this case, and we also pass Sparrow key. And Sparrow key is a secret key which is um, initialized on a hugging, fi hugging face spaces um, uh, settings. And this is done for the purpose that to avoid someone just uh, playing around and calling this uh, endpoint without any purpose, uh, just to uh, using the resources without any proper need. So if you need to uh, uh, you, you could, if you would like to run yourself this inference endpoint, you can just create your own hugging face space, right? And take the code from the GitHub and deploy there based on instructions from the readme file, which is available on the GitHub for this project, for Sparrow. So we define the file uh, that will be passed to the uh, fast API backend service. And we additionally, we define those parameters like uh, model in use and Sparrow key. And then we start the spinner and we execute with Python request library, we execute post uh, for the URL that was defined, right? And we pass data and file and we get back the response. So then we wait for the response and as soon as response is received and if it's not error, then we get text back from the response and this text is already JSON file, so JSON uh, text basically. So we don't need to do anything extra and that's because Donut model, which is uh, fine-tuned on our data and is hosted on, on the backend with FastAPI application, it already returns uh, JSON structure to us. Yeah, so <clears throat> we get the JSON and we initialize our local variable with the JSON. And then we just, uh, over here, we just display the JSON on the UI with Streamlit by calling this streamlit.json and passing the JSON text. And then the JSON uh, object is automatically displayed. We don't need to do anything extra. Then we are also dumping or storing this uh, uh, JSON uh, result that was produced on disk. Uh, so the image and JSON will be uh, stored along each other. So later, if user would like to open the same application again for the same document and review the data, there would be no need to execute the service again. They would just uh, uh, read the data from the local file. Yeah, so this is how it works. 
and jump back over here and uh, exit the desktop. So yeah, to summarize, uh, uh, the idea of this video was to show how the Sparrow is able to uh, call fast API backend with fine-tuned donut model, pass image there, get back the result, and display result uh, in uh, Streamlit uh, UI with the uh, out-of-the-box Streamlit support for JSON. So thanks for watching and uh, see you next time. Bye.